Essay 45, The Future of General Relativity Occam's razor philosophy requires that the simpler of two theories must be chosen, and this applies above all in natural philosophy of physics. The findings of the last uh, Essay 44 and of 193 mean that Lagrangian dynamics are preferred to general relativity when calculating the force law of attraction in the solar system and all cosmological systems, in calculating light deflection due to gravitation and the time delay due to gravitation. Furthermore, contemporary scholarship has proven that uh, Schwarzschild was perfectly right in pointing out that Einstein's calculation of precession of Mercury is incorrect. Many thinkers have questioned the need for general relativity throughout the 20th century. The worst aspect of all uh, that uh, are those uh, blared out precision tests said to bring up numbers to ever greater precision using a theory that is now so easily shown to be complete nonsense. The astronomy data uh, seem to be getting more precise but there are hidden assumptions in those data too. Um, for example, it is little known that the mass of the Sun M or any object in astronomy is not known with precision and that the Newton constant G is not known with precision. What is known with precision is the product Mg. The only thing uh, left of general relativity is its ability to produce uh, time uh, dilation modified by curved space-time and its ability to reduce to special relativity and Lorentz covariance in a limit of uh, uh, general covariance. It also appears that general relativity is needed to produce a unified field theory such as ECE theory. It may be that uh, gravitational time delay calculated by Lagrangian dynamics can be used to calculate time uh, dilation modified uh, by gravitation. Then all that would be left of general activity, uh, relativity would be its uh, philosophical ability to reduce to special relativity. That is not a very satisfactory outcome of a hundred years of work in physics. So the only scientifically valid aspect of general relativity would be its use in uh, ECE theory, a unified uh, field theory. It is possible to use general relativity with the right uh, M function to describe all the phenomena usually attributed to Einsteinian general relativity, EGR, but that is a more complicated way of describing light deflection and time delay due to gravitation than Lagrangian dynamics and therefore not uh, satisfactory when Occam's razor is adhered to. When the correct M function is used, uh, time dilation in curved space-time is nothing like EGR. It depends on the cosmological object or system being studied. For example, it is uh, very different for solar system and whirlpool galaxy. Also, it is not known at present whether time delay and light bending by gravitation are consistently described in general relativity. It is becoming ever clearer that something very strange and dishonest has been happening in the subject for a number of years, so that all it can do now is to repeat incorrect dogma endlessly by using media reporters. Judging by the great interest in ECE theory, uh, overwhelming, uh, um, hyperbole defying interest, and the complete absence of any criticism of ECE by honest scholars, only a very few of these dogmatists are left in the world. It is certainly true that the general public does not understand what these dogmatists are talking about and never did. Uh, the general public is able only to recognise one name, Albert Einstein, but knowing nothing about his work and not uh, ever reading it. This has greatly damaged science in a century when we all thought we were enlightened. 
Einstein happened to have been a good scientist in other fields of work and uh, his idea of general relativity is very imaginative but uh, is not as good as we are being uh, led to believe. He could be self-critical but um, contemporary scholarship has revealed some things about his work that are very obscure as if uh, he was forcing his theories on uh, nature. Um, he was uh, certainly very intolerant of uh, refereeing. The suspicion is that he deliberately contrived uh, some results, um, relying on his reputation and uh, confusion to get away with it. That is always a danger in science. He did explain Brown, Brownian motion and contributed to um, the old quantum theory, um, A and B co coefficients and uh, so on, but now it is known that these early quantum mechanics to contain a flaw. They did not use conservation of momentum correctly, only conservation of energy. Much of the 20th century in physics can be summed up in the same way, forcing theories on nature in various uh, indescribably obscure ways. I think that general relativity is still needed because of the uh, Lorentz transform which is the basis of uh, special relativity. The ECE equations though show that electrodynamics are generally covariant, not just uh, Lorentz uh, covariant. However, some aspects of special relativity still remain intact. An example is time dilation, another is the fact that the equations of electronomics are not Galilean. Uh, even even uh, uh, there though, there is a lot of uncertainty, debate and questioning. This is how it should be, of course. Uh, Peter Abelard could have told us that in the 12th century, and yes, he was condemned as a heretic. So was William of Ockham. Careers and money depend on dogma, as in the 12th century. Then it was a church career, now a university career, becoming indistinguishable from any political activity. There is no difference in the underlying human failing.